Uh, starting from you, Abhinav, uh, how do we reduce dependency on imports and in making India self-sufficient through various Make in India initiatives? But the point I was saying is that you cannot expect to make products in the Western world and sell them into India. The cost of the wages is obviously much higher there. So we have to make products in India, we have to make it affordable. The challenge comes in the inverted duty structure. In diagnostics, a lot of the instruments are at 0% duty. And when you go to manufacture and you get the parts in, they're at 7.5% duty. So you can look at there's a big parity issue. When you start manufacturing, you're paying 7.5% and when you import, it's 0%. So the government has to look into this and that will encourage manufacturing to start in the country. Yes, and uh, recently the PPO is something that is in the right direction, the public procurement order. And uh, that is something I think AMED has also pushed a lot for. And finally, we have got uh, the PPO, which is uh, supporting the Indian manufacturers. and. Uh, Right now, there is uh, a lot of momentum going on where they are against uh, imported products, specifically from our neighbors with whom we are sharing the land border. And that is something which is going the right direction. However, there are certain products listed there which are city of, ori uh, city of the origin is not correctly mentioned. There are still some products which are being imported and being mentioned as uh, made in India. So that is something I think the GEM should take it forward and get only verified Indian manufacturers there and that is something will go a long way since the government is one of the largest procurements which are happening in the medical industry. So these two things, I think inverted duty structure and the public procurement order are the way to go forward for Make in India.